that we're gonna do. As you can see, patching and gapping about the doors. The hole is gonna be a little, a little bit more work and it's more damage as normal. We're gonna start from putting drop sheets on the floor, masking all the areas that I need to be masked as like the kitchen, kitchen cabinets. We're gonna cover everything first and then we're gonna start with, with preparation. So now we're gonna mask all the, all the kitchen area, cover all the cabinets so we don't get any paint on it. That's done now. Now I'm gonna move finally to the preparation. Very common to have a very heavy buildup on the corners like this. So these uh, paint will chip off like here, like down here. I never patch this up, I just sand off the corner. As you can see, it's nice and clean now. No need to patch. All the prep is finished. No more gapping, patching, patching the timber as well, patching the walls. Pretty much everything is finished. This is the hallway. A lot of patches in the hallway. See, that's your girl in the hallway. And you will go the hallways, get smashed. No matter where, they got a lot of touching because there's no mushroom in the hallway as you're aware. You can move around and bump into the walls, make dents. Start the painting ceiling at the moment. I've just cut or finished cutting in. This is how it looks like after we cut in all the ceilings. There's an obvious difference between old and new paint. So cut it in, touched up the patches. Now we're gonna do 
rolling as usual and as always I'm using Tradex flat ceiling paint reason why I consider this as the best flat paint for ceilings and you will see that later on when we finish everything how this ceiling is gonna look like I'm about to start the top coat on walls. Uh, the product I'm using is Endural 18 one Really good product. It's got all the good stuff in it. Anti-mold, antibacterial, anti... what, what else? Um, stain resistant, super washable and everything else that goes with it. So it's a really good uh, top coat for finishing walls. Applying paint on the wall it's easy if you know which way to go how I do it I put the product on the wall first equally like this all the way through then I go from this side from back to the top and like that now I lay it off you have to be generous with the paint but still you have to see how much paint you're gonna need on a sleeve depending on the surface you're gonna paint don't put too much on the smaller surfaces on the bigger surfaces you can go wild but not too wild again you have to calculate how much paint approximately you're going to need on one surface, how big the surface is. That will be it.